guys, welcome back, or if you're new, hello, my name is Rachel Ust. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a few little DIYs with you guys, and they're all inspired by things that I've seen on Pinterest. If you want to find my Pinterest account, it's the same as my username on here, just Rachel Ust. So these DIYs are really simple, and they're things that you'll be able to easily recreate at home. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that DIYing home decor is something that I really like to do. I feel like it's a little bit more special, and no one has the exact same thing that you do. In order to not waste any more of your time, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up for me, and if you're new, hit subscribe, and we'll get started. First up, we have a very easy mood board. You've probably seen these all around the place. You'll need some gridding, some photos or cuttings, some miniature pegs or clips. And if your grid isn't black or whatever color you'd like to start with, you'll need some spray paint as well. The grid that I bought was from a hardware store and it was originally silver. I painted it and allowed the paint to dry before I started putting anything on it. I took some clippings out of magazines, I took a paint swatch sample of some colours that I'm thinking of using for a project that I'm doing, and then I just pinned up the images in the order that I want them. The benefit of doing this is you get that visual inspo and you can change it around whenever you want. Next we have a floating gallery wall which you can make as big or as small as you like. I decided just to go for three because I like the look of three objects together. You'll need to get some floating photo frames which have the glass instead of the solid colour. To me visually these look less cluttered than standard photo frames. So I'm just going to jump on graphicstock.com and I'm going to look for some photos to put in these frames. In one of the frames I wanted to do a little DIY drawing and I wanted images for the other two. Graphic Stock has an unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, illustration, heaps of that sort of thing and you can literally just search for whatever you're looking for. So I wanted to find a photo of a forest and I wanted to find a photo of Hong Kong City. If you check the link in the description box, we're giving away 7 days of Graphic Stock membership so you can try it out and explore the new collection. The new collection features futuristic images and dream inspired images and they'll all come for free with your subscription. So go to graphicstock.com slash future or just click the link in the description box below and you can start downloading. So I'm just downloading the two images that I want and then I'm actually going to open them up in Photoshop. The beauty of having stock images there is you can alter them and do whatever you want with them. So I'm just going to apply some black and white filters over the images and I'm going to crop them to the size that I want. So I made one 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters and the other 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And then I also did a little line work drawing for the third frame. The trick with these floating frames is that you can't just put something in and it'll stay in place. You'll either need to use some tape or just use a little bit of tack to hold it in place for you. That way the image isn't going to go sliding all around the place when it's hanging up on your wall. Then I use some removable hanging strips on my walls because I am renting and I don't want to destroy the walls by putting nails in them at all. So I hung them up there just near my day bed. Now we're making a geometric terrarium. You can find these geometric containers popping up all around the place in homeware stores now. And I decided to use succulents because they use a little bit less water, but you can also use cacti, which I think would look very beautiful in this kind of container. So I'm just going to make a mess here with Ducky and I'm going to take some soil and put the plants in. I'm just arranging them as I want and then I'm filling in the gaps with the soil. Then I'll be putting some rocks on the top layer just to give it a bit of a finishing touch. Make sure you don't overwater these. Because there's no drainage holes in the bottom, it would be very, very easy to kill these plants. So you want to make sure that you're just giving them a little bit of water, a mist, or you know, a few drops at a time. Now we've got a hairpin leg table. Now I made this one to use as an outdoor dining table. So I'm using some plywood and some hairpin legs. I got the hairpin legs off eBay. Screws, you wanna make sure that the screws aren't longer than the width of the table either, just FYI. Now this is the gloss paint that I used on it. So you're gonna sand back the wood, then you're gonna paint it. Make sure that you're giving it two to three coats on each side. Take a ruler, measure where you wanna put the legs, hold the legs on. It's easier if someone else holds them for you and then you can drill them into place. It's actually very simple to create a hairpin leg table like this. And now we have a little gold dip vase, so you'll need a vase or a jar, just a plain glass container, some newspaper, tape and some spray paint. 
So I grabbed a newspaper that someone had finished with and basically I'm just going to use it to make sure the paint doesn't get on the floor and also to keep the paint around the bottom of the jar because I want it to look almost like it's just been dipped in the paint. So I'm tearing the newspaper and then I'm going to wrap that around the jar and tape it into place. Then we're taking a gold enamel spray paint and you're going to want to spray it two to three times depending on how solid you want that color. After it's dry, you can remove the newspaper and then you're pretty much ready to go. You have a lovely gold dip vase or whatever color you choose to use. I hope you guys enjoyed these little DIY projects. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.